Well, it was uh, it was quite a shock actually because I'd been told about it from you know uh, a, a couple of residents, if you like, Diane Moran for one, and uh, it was last thing on my mind to be honest because I've always been a little sceptical about these sightings as such and then I saw the cat come out of the housing estate and just it was quiet at the time and I pulled in with my car because I was so shocked at its size and the, the look of it and I just watched it stroll across from western Nightwood Road across to the eastern Nightwood Road just north of Brendan Care and um, it was, you know, most unusual cat. It wasn't a domestic cat, that's quite obvious, because it was two and a half size, the size, really, of a domestic cat. And it was very spiky on its tail, a cur long curved tail, very spiky, and um, greyish, come white, but an unusual, significant colour, really, I suppose. I couldn't tell you what it was or whatever. Even if it was kept in a zoo, I wouldn't... No, but it was really odd. And as I said, I was rather sceptical about the whole thing. Yeah. But now I've actually seen it with my own eyes and my wife saw it as well. Uh, clearly we know there's something around. But I, it could easily, with all these woodlands, live, have his own little laird or something in this woodland somewhere. It's not necessarily a fierce creature. It went across, um, you know, quite casually across the road because it was quiet at the time because normally this is a busy road and um, but because of its size my only concern of course if it was cornered some somewhere who knows with a young child so people need to be vigilant I think until until unfortunately I didn't have a camera to be able to take a photograph of it but I've sketched it to, I'm not a very good drawer I have to admit <laughs> but I've given a, a sketch of what I've you know, what it looked like to me at the time.